Now this would be the second part of quadratic equation or quadratic expression and also quadratic function part two. So stated here, ungkapan or expression, quadratic expression or ungkapan quadratic dalam satu pemboleh ubah in one variable ialah ungkapan yang kuasa tertinggi pemboleh ubahnya ialah dua. So, okay, in a quadratic expression, the highest power in the expression is 2. Okay, so our variable in quadratic expression is x. So the highest power of x should be power of 2. So power of 1 is considered linear, power 3 is considered cubical. General form of and quadra of a quadratic expression bentuk am or general form of an or a quadratic expression can be written as ax square plus bx plus c so where a b and c are considered as constants or in bahasa or in malay is known as pemala so when you refer to the general form of a quadratic expression, the a can never be equal to zero. So if a is equal to zero, zero multiplied by x squared, you will have zero. As we know that zero multiplied by any terms or anything, you will get a zero. So once this section here becomes a zero, it is no longer a quadratic expression. And what is left behind is bx plus c, which is linear, not a quadratic. That means not x to the power of 2. So quadratic expression or quadratic equations, the variable that we have here, that is x, the highest power should be 2. So example, when you refer to x squared plus 2x minus 1, Okay, so this is a quadratic expression. Negative y squared plus 3y is also a quadratic expression. m squared minus m plus 4 is a quadratic equation. And 2n squared plus 5 is also a quadratic expression. So the highest power, the variable of this expression here is x. So the highest power is 2. So when you refer to this section here where you have negative y, y squared plus 3y, the only variable that you have here is y and the highest power is also 2. So and then the next one is m squared minus m plus 4. Now the variable here is m. So the highest power of m is 2. And then the last one, 2n squared plus 5, the variable and the only variable here is n and the highest power is 2. So these are examples of quadratic expression. So here are some keywords related to this section or this chapter here. Sec part, the first part here okay, is in Malay, the second is in English, and the third one will be in Chinese. So example, the question asks us, tentukan sama ada setiap ungkapan berikut merupakan ungkapan kuadratik dalam satu pemboleh ubah atau bukan. Jika bukan, berikan justifikasi anda. So, in this example here, the question was asking us to determine okay, whether the expressions given here, that means A, B, C, D, E and F, the expression given here, they are quadratic expression, yes or no. If no, please justify. Okay, so the first one when you refer to a is 2x squared plus 5. So a is a quadratic expression where the highest power, the only variable that you have here is x, okay, and the highest power is 2. And for b, you have x cubed minus 6. The only variable that we have is x and the highest power is 3. So x cubed minus 6 is not a quadratic expression because the highest power of the variable is 3. C, 
3x squared plus 2y plus 1. Here you have two variables, that is x and y. So here you have two variables, so therefore this is not a quadratic expression. Part D, half m squared. Okay, even though when you look at this expression here, D, okay, only you have m squared where the B and the C are equals to zero. So that is why it's only half m squared. So the only variable here is m and the highest power is two. Then part E is not a quadratic expression because it is not a whole number. Okay, so the second part of the expression, you can see three over negative three over x squared, which is not a whole number okay so therefore it is not a quadratic expression so and then when you refer to f is again not a quadratic expression because you can see here it is not x to the power of one the second part should be x power of one where this what you have here in this expression you have x to the power of half so in general okay a is a quadratic equation uh, expression b is not okay because the highest power of the variable is 3 c is not because you have more than one variable d is, is a quadratic expression where you have the highest power of the variable m is 2 and then e is not because the second part of the expression is not a whole number and f also the same is not a quadratic expression as stated in the Penilla cyan here, that means the solution. 2x squared plus 5 ialah ungkapan kuadratik dalam satu pemboleh ubah. That means with one variable. And the highest power of the variable is 2. So B, you have x cubed minus 6 bukan ungkapan kuadratik kerana kuasa tertinggi pemboleh ubah ialah 3. So it is not a quadratic expression because the highest power of the variable is 3. Then part C, 3x squared plus 2y plus 1. Bukan ungkapan quadratic dalam satu pemboleh ubah kerana terdapat dua pemboleh ubah, two variable, that is x and y. So part V, you have half m squared ialah ungkapan quadratic dalam satu pemboleh ubah. It is a quadratic expression because the variable highest power of the variable is power of 2 and the variable is m only one variable part e 2x squared minus 3 bahagi dengan x power kuasa 2 bukan ungkapan kuadratik kerana terdapat kuasa yang bukan nombor bulat the kuasa the power here is actually x to the power of negative 2 which is not a nombor bulat okay not a whole number so 4x squared minus x to the power of half bukan ungkapan kuadratik kerana terdapat kuasa yang bukan nombor bulat. This is not a whole number again. Now, let us move to the next slide. So these are the um, terms okay, in English and in um, Chinese. Per kali coefficient, okay, per kali or coefficient, and in Chinese, okay, so A, remember A, B, and C, they are known as constants, they are also known as per kali or per mala, per mala means it is a constant, in English it's known as constant, okay, per kali in English is known as coefficient, so A, B, and C are actually the coefficient, of the quadratic expression where a is the Pekali, the coefficient of x squared b is the coefficient of x and c is the coefficient or it is known as the pamala okay you can consider as a constant okay so a, a numerical or constant quantity placed before and multiplying the variable in an algebraic expression Okay, that's what it means by coefficients. So now, in this example here, what we have to do is we have to state whether A, what is the value of A, B, and C when you are comparing the general 
form or the general form of the expression with the given form here. So the general form of the quadratic expression is ax squared plus bx plus c. So it is plus bx. Okay, so it's a positive when you refer to the second part, but here is negative 3. So in this expression here, your a should be equal to 2, your b should be negative 3. Because in the general form, this should be a positive b, and here what we have is a negative 3. So that means your b would be equal to a negative 3, and your c is equal to a 1. So for b, section b 2x squared minus 4x so 2 which is in front of the x square so 2 will be the coefficient of x square 2 it will be the coefficient of x square and which is the a and negative 4 is the coefficient of x where b is equal to negative 4 and c which is the constant in this case here would be equal to 0 now, the third one, C, where you have half x squared plus 5x minus 3 over 2. So the coefficient of x squared in this section here would be half, that is your a equals to half, and then the coefficient of this for x is 5, so your b is 5, and the constant would be equal to your c, that is negative 3 over 2. So part d here, you have negative x squared plus x, so your a would be, so when you compare with the general form here, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, your x squared, in front of your x squared, you have negative, which is also negative 1, okay? So that would be the coefficient of x squared. So your a would be equal to negative 1, your b, where you have x here, so you would Imagine that there will be a 1 in front of the x, so 1 times x is x anyway. So 1 would be the coefficient of x, and in this case, you don't have the Pamala or the constant c, so which is equal to 0. So for part e, you have negative x squared minus 3x minus 9. Okay, so the coefficient of x squared, so any number in front of the x squared is called a coefficient or a pagali. So in this case, your a is negative 1. So that means your coefficient for x squared is negative 1. Your b would be negative 3. Remember, you have to include the negative because the original or the general expression is ax squared plus bx plus c. So your b would be negative 3 and your c would be a negative 9. Okay, so and when you compare with your general expression, this is positive and this is a negative. So that is why you have to include the negative, so which is c, which is negative 9. So the last one, so negative half x, oh sorry, don't have a negative, half x squared. So the coefficient of x squared would be half. B, here you don't have any B section here, the coefficient of B will be zero. The coefficient or the Pamala or the constant, okay, in Bahasa or in Malay is known as Pamala. Okay, so in English it's called constant, so C would be zero. Okay. So here you have some practice exercise for you. So let me just roughly or briefly explain what it means. Tentukan sama ada, justify, okay? Justify whether which of uh, every each of this expression here is, okay, a quadratic expression, okay, with one variable or not. If not, Please justify. Okay, so B is a quadratic expression, x squared minus 5. Sorry, A is a quadratic expression, x squared minus 5. B is not because, okay, the second term here, okay, you have x to the power of negative 2, which is to the power of not a power of whole number. 
okay so it should be power of one if it is quadratic expression so here part c is not a quadratic expression because you have two variable that is y square and x part d it is a quadratic expression because you have the highest power is two and only one variable so the coefficient of m square for this is negative half this part e here is not because the first term includes a variable of power of three which is not quadratic and then part f again is not quadratic because it's x to the power of okay half which is not a whole number so again it is not a quadratic expression part g is also not a quadratic expression because you have the first term here is x to the power of negative 2 actually 1 over x power 2 is actually equals to x power of negative 2 so this is not a quadratic expression then part h yes it is a quadratic expression with the variable p highest power is 2 okay i which you have to expand okay this expression here by taking n multiplied by n into the bracket and n multiplied by negative 2 in the bracket so from this you will have n square minus 2n which is a quadratic expression now then to come nila a b and c okay determine the value of a b and c determine the value of a b and c tentukan in english is determine nilai the value of a b and c bagi setiap ungkapan kuadratik yang berikut so that means what you have to do is you have to write okay for every each part the coefficient of a the coefficient of b and the constant c so the coefficient a for this case is 2 coefficient sorry the coefficient of x square is 2 the coefficient of x here is negative 5 and the constant is 1 for this okay the coefficient of x square is 1 the coefficient of x is negative 2 and the constant is 0 c you have 2y squared plus 1 the coefficient of y squared is 2 the coefficient of x here b is 0 and 1 here is a constant and then part d here you have half p squared plus 4p so the coefficient for p squared or p power 2 p quasi dua the coefficient of p squared is half the coefficient for p for this is 4 and thus the coefficient of x square is negative 2 the coefficient of x is negative 1 and the constant is 1 part f the coefficient of x square is 4 now g the coefficient of h square is 1 the coefficient of h is positive 3 over 2 and the constant is negative 4 so the variable here is h the variable here is k so this is a quadratic expression so okay the coefficient of k square is 1 over 3 the coefficient for b is missing the coefficient of for x sorry the coefficient for x is missing so where b is equal to 0 so negative 2 here is a constant that means c is negative 2 so in this case again you have to expand 2r times r you have 2r square minus 6r so the coefficient of r square is 2 the coefficient of r is negative 6 if you were to expand this expression here okay so that is for the practice so so here apakah kaitan antara fungsi quadratic and hubungan banyak kepada satu so what they are trying to ask here is what okay apakah kaitan what is the relationship between a quadratic function okay dengan hubungan banyak kepada satu the relationship of many to one so all quadratic expression quadratic function or quadratic equation it include of many to one okay so you have to consider the object and the image so for quadratic expression equation or function okay so you will have object always two image one so if you were to refer to the object you have two 
an image you have one what is object object is mainly the input to the equation or to the expression okay image would be the output so that means the answer or the value when you solve the problem okay so whenever you solve expression or when you are or always you are trying to draw a graph for expression equate uh, quadratic expression or quadratic equation you will find out that okay now you will always got a value of y which is the image that means the output with two input that means two object okay two objects so when you have two objects to one image we usually call it as many to one so this is what i meant okay this is what i meant so two value of x to one value of y so x is always considered the object y is considered the image object which is the input and y which is the output so now when you refer to what i have given here and when you refer to this graph okay which is not okay related to this okay or it is related okay so when you look at this function here if let's say for example i give a one x equals to negative one i will have x uh, negative one to the power of two minus three times negative one the answer or the image would be equal to a four if i put my x that means these are my selections of numbers for x so if let's say i consider x to be zero so when you put zero replacing the x you will get the y as zero into that means you put substitute zero into x here wherever you whichever x you have here whatever x you have here just substitute it with a zero so what you have a zero so the next is a one you get negative two the next is a two so you have a two power two minus three times two so you get the image as negative two and then let's say for example object or the input is a three so you replace your x with three so three power two minus three times three so you get your y which is the function of x a zero and then when you substitute four into the x okay so you have four squared minus three times four so your y which is also the function of x you'll get a four so when you look at this table here you will see that okay they are twice four appears in the table and twice a negative two appears in the table so now four here is the y which is the image or the output and the x which is the input negative one so wherever you consider x is a negative one you get image four and also whenever you consider x equals to four you can also get an image equals to four so that is why we say is two to one or we don't use two to one or we don't use to call it as two to one and we call it as many to one so that is a negative one and a four which will give you an image of four and also you can also consider that with the one and two with the object of one and the object two here would give you an image of negative two okay so that is what it is that is why and that is how it relates okay to what the theory has say that is two to one so all quadratic expression function or equation you will have this arrangement this sets here